Hello everyone, it's Adam Torrance here again from the EdTech Coaches. Today we're going to use Keynote for digital storytelling. So to get started, I've added a blank white slide and I've put in a piece of text from a student's book called The Skateboarding Ninja. The text says, The skateboarding ninja almost ran over the bird. Watch out, skateboarding ninja. So now I need to add my setting. To add my setting, I click on the plus at the top and I want to add in a blue sky. And I can cover my slide with that blue sky. It does cover the words, so I click on the paintbrush, arrange and slide to back. Now I need to add my green rectangle for my grass. So I'll place my green box down the ground and move it to the edge and there's my grass. Now there's my very basic setting and I want to add a character now. So in Safari I search for ninja icon. The reason I add the word icon is because it gives me very easy images to work with and it's appropriate for students. So here's my character. It has squares for my background, which means it will be a transparent background when I add him to Keynote. So I click on the plus, images, and camera roll, and I can add in my character. So I'll move him down the base here, and I've already searched for skateboard icon to find a very simple skateboarding image. Now this one does have a white background, so to get rid of that, I tap on the paintbrush, instant alpha, and then I select white and drag out a little bit and that will get rid of that white background. So I can move my skateboard down to my ninja and if I hold onto my skateboard and tap the ninja at the same time, I can group those two items to make a character. Now I want to make my skateboarding ninja move across the screen. So to do this, I tap on my ninja and this menu comes up and I will select animate. Now that I've selected animate, you'll see the menu at the top has turned blue. I want to build out and I want him to move out of my screen. If I see my options, I can see that it'll take one second for him to move out. He will move to the right and it will happen on tap. Now I'll need to add a bird to my story. So what I need to do is close Keynote, open Safari back up and search for bird icon. Again, always add the word icon. That way when your students search, they will come across appropriate and easy images. So I'll scroll down to find a nice bird. Here's one here. He has a transparent background for me. So save image, open up Keynote and select done to get back to my uh, normal menu. Plus from my camera roll and select my bird. So my bird will go to this side of the screen and I want him to fly out of the way before he gets hit by the skateboard. So I tap on him and press animate, build out, and I want him to move as well. So when I go to options, I want to select another direction for him to fly in. I don't want to give him a bounce, but I do want him to move with previous build, which is my skateboard. But I want him to see the skateboard coming, so I'm going to give him a slight delay before he moves. Now that I've finished, I'll select done, and let's see how my story goes. The skateboarding ninja almost ran over the bird. Watch out, skateboarding ninja. So that is my example of using Keynote for digital storytelling. Please try it out yourself, and if you make a story using Keynote, please share it with us at the EdTech Coaches, at Mr. Kemp NZ, and at atorrens84. Thank you, and please subscribe for more videos.